Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. So today I have got a Liz Lisa winter sale haul for you guys. I recently went on a little bit of a shop as kind of like a 21st birthday present for slash Christmas present to myself on the Tokyo Kawaii Life site. Every single season they often will have a massive sale and one of the items I got was 50% off and I believe the others were about 30% off so you can always find some amazing deals on the Tokyo Kawaii Life site this time of the year. Japan is definitely one of the best countries when it comes to sale times. However, because I do have to use a shopping service to buy from Tokyo Kawaii Life, it does mean that even with the discounts um, and Shipping, it still is quite expensive to buy Liz Lisa directly from Japan, but it's always worth it, especially if I do a haul video. So I got three items, and the first item I picked up was a skirt. This is the skirt here. I thought this was so, so pretty, and I saw it was 30% off, and I normally, whenever I click on an item that's in the sale normally the colorway that I want is always gone because you know that's just the way that things go but no this time they still had the pink colorway in stock and I believe there was a white colorway as well but this was my favorite one so I was glad that I got this let me just find the prices for you. Rather annoyingly, my phone doesn't want to load my emails right now, um, so when I can get them to work, I will put down in the description box down below the prices and what they were reduced to. But I actually still have the tag on this one, which I didn't realize. But yeah, this one originally cost 6,900 yen, and I believe it had about 30% off. So that's a pretty good saving, and to be honest, the yen to the pound at the moment, it's still pretty awful, so any saving is always great. This is the skirt here. It's this really, really pretty floral pattern and it's just got an elastic waistband, which is always what I prefer because I do have quite a small waist and I was very sad because in my last haul, I got this beautiful cat cup skirt and I got that in the sale too. However, it just didn't fit. It was too big on my waist. So sadly I had to part ways with it so I got this one knowing that it had an elasticated waist so I knew that it would fit me and fits perfectly and what I like about Liz Lisa skirts often is they come built in with a pair of like satiny shorts underneath that's so helpful because these skirts are often on the shorter side so it's very good knowing and having that security that if the wind blows that you know, you know you're, you're not going to flash everyone but yes just a very pretty floral pattern the same on the back we have some ribbon detailing in the front and the best feature is it has pockets i was like it has pockets like my life is complete and you see what a cute little ruffling detailing on the side there so i just thought this was so pretty and i believe this was part of the 20th anniversary collection as well and I know it looks more spring-like, but trust me, I'm going to wear it all year round. So yes, I was very pleased with this piece. Next item that I picked up was a jumper, and you have to excuse it because I've already worn it once, and I already got a mark on it. Like, oh, I was so gutted. Oh, like, white clothes are just impossible to wear. I have so many white clothes. But you, should, you would think I would learn by now how to not get stains on them. But I'm sure it would come out in the wash anyway. But yes, it is just this very nice, quite simple, ribbed um, white jumper. And it has these gorgeous flared sleeves, which is really what attracted me to this jumper. And it's even got some, if you can, it's quite hard to see because it's all like white and white. And I'm like wearing white as well, so we all just blend into one. And I'm pale too. It's got this very pretty ribbon detailing on the sleeve there. And then on the neckline, it came with this really nice sort of necklace that you clipped on to the jumper. And it took me so long to work out how to like get it on. I was like trying to put it around my neck. I was like, this isn't going to fit. And then I realised underneath the collar, it's got tiny little loopholes which you clip it onto so it's really nice because it just gives it a bit of extra detailing and you can always take it off if you don't like it but yes it's quite long actually which is what I quite like so it'll easily tuck into any skirts I have as I do have another Liz Lisa jumper quite similar to this but it got shrunk in the wash sadly you know how I was really sad about it and it just doesn't like tuck into anything now and it's just not very comfortable to wear 
so i thought i would get this one in place of it now this actually wasn't in the sale but i have my labels here because i kept them this was 5500 yen of course it's a free size the same as the skirt as all these lisa items are free sizes but i thought it was just very cute and i wanted it and i saw they had them back in stock i believe they also came in pink and blue and then white as well so yeah i just thought this would be a very easy item to style as it will go with everything else and all the other little items that i own and the last item i got is a pair of shoes uh i like i can never shop on Liz lisa and not buy a pair of shoes these were 50 percent off 50 percent off they were about 9,800 yen to start off with and i was like right i have got to get these right now because my favorite pair of Liz lisa shoes i do have two other pairs they are have been very well loved and worn out so i needed to get another pair that i would eventually put in their place and it is these they are so cute i adore the sort of um furry bow on the back of the shoes it's a really nice touch and it looks so nice for winter but yes these are just pink pumps and like all of these shoes they have a very high heel which i'm pretty used to walking in and I love the cross lacing detail on the back, which is also very like my other pair of loose lacing shoes that I do own. These were the size L, I believe. Yes, they are a size L, which fits me. And I'm like a size 5 UK, so, and they only stop small, medium, large. So if you are larger than a size 5 um, UK for your shoe size, then you're not really going to fit into loose lacing shoes, sadly. The only problem I have with loose lacy shoes is they're so hard to break in. Like, oh my god, they are. They can be so painful to break in. I think I must just have weird feet because literally, even if I wear a pair of flats, my feet just get destroyed. So I think I just have weird feet. My other pair of loose lacy shoes I have, they're really comfortable now now that they've been broken in. But yes, they just have this strap that crosses around your ankle. They've got little ruffles around the front of them. And I couldn't pass them up being 50% off in the sale. I had to get them as I am trying to expand my Liz Lisa wardrobe as much as possible because I just, I enjoy Japanese fashion far more than Western fashion. So I'm very happy to add these to my collection. So those were all the Liz Lisa items I got in the winter sale. I believe the sale is still on. So if you do want to get yourself some bargains from the site, then I will leave the link to the Tokyo Kawaii Life site in the, dis in the description box down below. Leave any comments down below also of what you would like me to film next. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!